channel thank you so much for being here and watching today's video how are you guys all doing i hope you're really well and having a lovely month whenever you're watching this in today's video i thought i would do a big roundup of trench coat outfits i think i've done around 18 or 19 in this video i got a little bit carried away but i was like do you know what it's time for me to kind of round up those looks that i'm really excited to wear despite it being like rainy and cold at the moment every day which i'm just so over i'm so ready for spring summer outfits or like spring transitional trench coat looks where I can wear like light linens and just blue jeans and a t-shirt that's what I'm just waiting for so fingers crossed we get nice weather soon but I thought I would get myself excited get myself a bit more inspired with the pieces I have in my wardrobe and those capsule pieces and yeah put some looks together with you guys and talk you through some of my favorite ways to wear my trench coats just before we get into outfit number one I've actually got two classic main trench coats in my wardrobe recently I got a new more like neutral kind of toned down gray cream colored one which you may see once in this video however my beige one for me which you'll see mostly styled in this video is my favorite if you're looking to invest in a trench coat I always say to people to kind of weigh up the colors and the tones and the shades that you have in your wardrobe and kind of think of maybe 10 to 15 different ways that you could style it. I personally think that a beige colored like neutral one like this is a classic one to go for, not only for spring and summer neutrals and pastels and bright pops of color and things like that, but also moving into autumn, it goes really nicely with all those browns and orangey like autumnal shades, which I personally get the most wear out of. So this for me, I've had for around seven years and I mean, I wear it on repeat, I wear it for most seasons, and being in the UK, I find it absolutely perfect, even in the summer months, to style over white tees and jeans and things on those like colder days. But I also have a cream one, which leads us on to outfit number one, which was a recent purchase last year, and I've worn this so much as well. I have like a lot of pinks and orangey kind of pastel shades in my wardrobe and I find that this one I gravitate towards mainly with those colours because I feel like it kind of works very nicely with those more lighter tones but just styling here for an everyday classic outfit with the Levi blue jeans, white tee and white trainers just for like a capsule wardrobe look that these are kind of my main pieces that I wear and alternate and style different ways on repeat and I feel like the lighter tones really kind of scream spring which I love featuring this once in this video and I'm hoping I can find alternatives to this one as this one from Zara I cannot find online anymore I think it has sold out which is slightly annoying because I love the boxy shape of this but I'm putting this one in here just in case you prefer jackets that are like that mid-length or that crop length because sometimes with trench coats I know in the past I've had questions about the length of the ones that I go for some of them can be completely to the floor especially being five foot three like I am or like five foot four and below they can sometimes be way too long even with chunky trainers or boots so I always try and go for that mid-length trench coat which you'll see with the neutral ones I've got but I love the boxy fit and shape of this I love how you can then kind of show off your high-rise jeans if you like them as much as I do and I've saw these of mini Uggs this is like a transitional cozy but put together kind of everyday outfit then for warmer spring days, I'm just styling the beige neutral trench hair with classic white tee and, well, classic white vest top, I think this one is, and then blue jeans and my sandals. I love a dad sandal. For me, as soon as I get to wear my dad sandals, I'm going to be so happy because I thrive in the weather the way you can wear jeans and dad sandals and outfits like this. Like, it's my favourite kind of season for fashion. And this is just one of those classic, again, outfits for every day. Chuck on. You can go for those basics. I feel like we've all got blue jeans. We've all got white tees and things like that in our wardrobe so I feel like a trench is so easily embedded into our wardrobes for any season especially if you live in the UK or you live somewhere where you do get those cooler summer days I just feel like they're perfect when you want to have outfits like this put together where you've got the option to kind of take it off and be a bit cooler if you need to but you've also got that added layer if you're spending like a full day out and it goes into night as well then following on from that outfit, I also wanted to show you a way that I kind of add more of those like pastel tones to my look. So this definitely isn't for everyone, but I do love layering my trench coats with blazers underneath just to have that little added layer when I need to be slightly warmer or if I'm going into a restaurant and I'm going to a calf that might be outside and I want to take off the trench coat and still have that blazer on underneath and show off a little bit more colour with a look. I love doing this and in autumn I tend to do this with like orange or brown blazers underneath my trench coat and wear chunky boots instead of sandals just to kind of have an extra added layer and be super put together but also able to kind of bring the look to life with lots more colour. 
Then next up, stripes and stripe jumpers, stripe tees. You'll be seeing a lot of these in my videos. I always bring this out in springtime. I don't know why. I always bring out my stripe jumpers and tees a lot more this time of year. And I think it's because I find them such a perfect piece to kind of go with everything that are like my capsule pieces in my spring wardrobe. So styling here with blue denim jeans and just kind of layering up with the trench coat. This would be a day that I maybe needed a bit more layering. And I also like sometimes having the option to take off the jumper and have that over the shoulders of the trench you'll see a look near the end where I've done that and it's just a perfect easy way to kind of make an outfit feel quite chic and put together but also just in case you need that added layer you can easily put that on and then I've just added the pastel bag because any accessories I always say if you have a coloured accessory I feel like you can just bring an outfit to life it just instantly elevates those looks I just love how the bag makes the outfit kind of scream spring a little bit more and makes the neutrals kind of go to more of those spring pastel tones which I love. Next up very similar again another everyday outfit styling the colours again this can work with any looks you have in your wardrobe you could easily take off the jumper take off the pastel bag and the coloured shoes and go for those neutral tones that you love and you have and style the accessories around those whites those beiges those creams if you wanted to go for a full neutral look but again another way that I just add in a little touch of pastels just to make it feel a little bit more spring and just make the outfit feel more put together as well. I love chucking on the jumper over my shoulders. I feel like it's a really nice touch and the shoes as well. I mean, I'm a pink girl, so I had to add a bit more pop of color with my pink converse, but I definitely say if you're looking to add more pastels and color into your wardrobe, look into a colorful bag and a trainer first, as I feel like then it's easy to work with every single outfit you have, rather than just getting that tee or that blouse. I feel like this just works and means you can style lots of different looks that you already have that are a bit more neutral, so many different ways. So I've done this again, but I'm styling the satin skirt here. I just wanted to chuck in the ways with the satin skirt as some outfit ideas for every day because a satin skirt for me is definitely a capsule wardrobe piece this time of year. Not only for every day, but also for like evening wear. Sometimes I take these looks and style a little court heel or a point toe boot just to kind of take looks from trainers to kind of evening wear as well and I feel like satin skirts are super comfortable especially if you've got those like warmer spring summer days where you do want to just be comfortable and cool at the same time I always gravitate towards this on those kind of days and then just showing you guys here on the screen as well how you can do it as a full neutral look I've gone with the beige trench coat here I feel like the beige trench coat like I was saying does work best with those more neutral kind of creams and whites as it does just kind of add a little bit more something to the outfit and balances out those tones which I love Next up, another way I layer with blazers under trench coats and for more of like a, I guess a cooler day out, everyday fit. This is something I would wear for like shopping in London or if I was going for brunch with family and potentially kind of going from a day to night outfit. I've added the pastel coloured blazer just to kind of again add a bit more colour to the look but gone with my classic converse and linen blend trousers linen blend trousers if you guys watch my capsule wardrobe video they are a classic for me i love styling them they are so comfortable and i will link at least two or three similars down below for you guys because i really do think they're that investment piece that work really well for spring but then also summer and holidays with bikinis and like floaty shirts they just look beautiful styled like that so this is just one of those looks for taking us into spring a little bit more and again layering so that I can take off the trench if I needed to if I was out and about and want to show off a bit more colour with the look. Now last one with the neutral like whitey cream trench I just wanted to show it styled with a suit. I personally think a suit is a capsule wardrobe piece and set and although I don't think a pink one is I personally just have my pink and my like tan beige one and I always always style them this time of year. I feel like it makes an outfit feel very chic, very put together and I also just love adding the colour like I said and like you guys can probably guess by now but I feel like this really stands out with the neutral trench. I feel like this just allows the colour to stand out in the outfit so if you've got any of those bright coloured knits, graphic tees, maybe those bright pops of colour accessories and shoes and you're unsure on how to style them, then I feel like with those neutral trench and like tonal trenches, 
it just means you've got that added layer that will keep you warm as we move into spring and warm on the like cooler summer days but also just makes that like colored piece really stand out which i love so for me this is definitely a capsule wardrobe outfit not for everyone but i've had this suit for years and i continuously wear it and yeah just perfect for moving into spring when i fancy wearing more of those pastel colors next i wanted to focus on the beige trench coat styled lots of different ways as well just to kind of show you how this one is really embedded into my wardrobe so firstly styling with black accessories, charcoal dad jeans, and then this colorful top. I feel like I wear a lot of color, so I'm hoping in some way you guys have similar in your wardrobe, or maybe it would inspire more of those colorful pieces on ways you can style them with more neutrals in your wardrobe too. But styling with the neutral accessories is one of those ways that I will allow like a bright blouse or shirt like this one to kind of stand out and be the main focus point of the outfit. And I feel like a trench coat is really easily added to looks like that, especially in the spring summer months. So so this to me is like that everyday look that I'm loving right now when I feel like I want to wear colour but I want to be safe and stick with those like free colour roll of those neutrals with the beiges and the charcoal colours as well. And like I was saying with adding a jumper over my shoulders this is another way that I do it with more of those neutral tones again very classic easy everyday outfit that I love this could be styled with blue jeans black jeans whatever trousers you have in your wardrobe these are my tailored ones from under the label which I just love I love the pleat detail of these and again just styling with the white little tank top which again is a classic for me this time of year but I love how this looks and then you have the option obviously to put on the knit if you needed to but I do love how it looks thrown over the shoulder as well then for me, I, like I was saying, love a pop of colour accessory, but one of the ways that I also like tying my outfits and giving them a little bit more life is having a graphic tee or a logo tee. I feel like going to your local charity shop or the shop online girl knows all because they do the best ones. But this one I've had for years and years and years from Topshop and I just tie it together with my pop of orange bag just to bring again those neutrals to life a little bit more and make the look stand out. And then I've gone for the black dad sandals because I love them. And and this is like one of those literal go-to outfits for me when I am going out in Brighton in spring and summer. Sometimes on summer days when it's a bit breezy here, I tend to just go for like trousers and dad sandals as I still feel quite cool and comfortable, but I'm still knowing that I'm gonna be warm enough when I'm near the seafront or if I'm gonna get on a bus or I don't know, it's just kind of one of those go-to city kind of everyday looks that I love wearing. And next, a full neutral outfit and styling creams and whites and chunky high knee boots with the beige trench again. This is just kind of showing a two color rule here of how the trench just really balances out more of those creams and white tones with a look. So if you prefer to wear more neutrals or most of your wardrobe is made up of more of those neutrals, I just kind of wanted to show how a beige trench coat can just work with all of them as well. So this is just one of those ways that I would style a look for maybe brunches on the warmer days again, having my legs out. But I also wear this as we move from summer into autumn. And it's one of those looks that I continue to wear throughout the kind of spring, summer, autumn months. Now, chucking in a pop of colour dress in this video and some trainers, just to kind of show you one of my fave everyday looks when it gets warmer to wear. And I feel like, hopefully, most of us have like coloured dresses in our wardrobe or like our favourite dress that we love wearing, whether it's ditzy prints or spots or even like a little black dress. This is just a great way of styling it with a trench and trainers to make it feel a bit more ready for everyday looks and everyday wear. And I love how this kind of all works together. I sometimes style it with an orange, like subtle, peachy coloured bag and then other times I just do the beige bag like I've done here and I wanted to chuck in an outfit that I pretty much live in I must say I live in athleisure and I live in leggings and majority of the time I'm like running errands or I'm editing at home or I'm going to edit in a coffee shop or the post office or casual brunches this is kind of my Sunday outfit as well a lot of the time especially this time of year when I feel like when I'm on the go I get so hot and it might just be me, but when I'm like traveling around or when I'm going into town and I'm doing returns or the post office run and I've got loads of bags, I just get too hot. So I find a trench coat to just be that perfect piece that you can easily kind of fold away, put into the tote bag if you need or chuck on on your arm and it's not too heavy to carry like big slouch coats and fake leather jackets that are quite heavy. So this is one of the ways that I style it just for kind of those casual days out and comfy days out. And I wear this a lot to Pilates at the moment as well, layering with knits just so that I'm super cozy and just with the classic white trainers for a classic kind of comfy cozy everyday outfit. 
Then the last three looks are definitely outfits that I just love wearing. So I wanted to chuck them in here and they are all neutral outfits as well. But first up, this little black dress and styling it with this blazer that has that check kind of plaid detail to it. I feel like this adds a little bit more something something to those neutral pieces when you've potentially got a knit that has more pattern or detailing in or a blazer or even like a bomber jacket that maybe has more of that plaid or like dog's tooth detail to it. It always looks really cool layering it and like surrounding the look with more of those neutral pieces. So this is just one of the ways that I do it for every day that's maybe a bit more glam with the high knee cowboy boots, but they are a favorite of mine. And you may have seen me last year wear these in September as well in autumn time. I just love these boots and I love them with the trench coat. So I had to share one of these looks with you guys. Then I also wanted to share an outfit for the evening. So I do wear my trench for evening looks as well. I've actually got an evening out tonight with my mum and I'm wearing the little black dress you just saw with a black blazer and then the trench coat over the top because it's kind of that weather today that's quite humid because it's been raining all day and then the sun came out and I feel like I just need something that I know is gonna cover my legs but because I'm layering up with the blazer tonight, I feel like that's gonna be enough. So I do wear it a lot like this as well. High knee boots, a nice dress for evenings, especially if I'm going into London and I'm leaving like mid afternoon and it's kind of a day to night kind of thing then I will tend to take my trench coat as I feel like it can dress down those evening looks a little bit as well where I feel a bit more comfortable and then when I'm traveling home I just feel super comfortable and I can kind of tie it up cover my legs if I need to if I need to be a bit warmer as well so this is just one of those like girls night date night outfits and one of the ways that I style it for that and then lastly styling my loafers with the trench coat I love a little kind of preppy outfit it's something that I really like doing at the moment and I love the loafers so so much right now they are so comfortable they're from ASOS and I've had them for over a year and a half and they keep bringing them out so I'm quite happy about it because then I can link them for you guys but they're just really comfortable and I love a bit of a platform with my outfits especially being five foot three but this for me again not for everyone definitely like a love it or hate it kind of thing but I love doing skirts shirts blazers again layered under trench coats and this for me would be like casual meetings in London or potentially even if I was working in an office I'd go for maybe a little bit of a longer mini skirt and some boots or loafers again depending on where you work I guess it really varies but could potentially be like a workwear inspired look with the trench coat or just kind of show you guys how it does work really nicely with blazers and white shirts too but yeah they are all the outfits and looks I'm really hoping this works as like a little bit of inspiration for trench coats in your own wardrobe looks in your own wardrobe moving into spring and summer and maybe even autumn at some point as well but let me know if you guys want to see me style anything else like multiple different ways. I have blue jeans and loafers and then I think Converse on my list that you guys asked for that I'm gonna be filming soon as well. But if there's absolutely anything else that you wanna see, then please let me know. I wanna film what you guys wanna watch and I really, really appreciate you being here and supporting me. If you guys aren't subscribed as well, please subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up. It really means the world to be like part of this little fam with me. I absolutely love connecting with you guys over here. So yeah. Just sending all my love and hoping you have a lovely start to your spring. But sending my love to you all and hope you all have a lovely, lovely week whenever you're watching this. Lots of love, guys. Bye.